to the home of mathematics. In this video series, we will show you the milestones in the journey of human mathematical discoveries. Eduardist Garlora, 1811-1832 Garlora was born in Boularena, south of Paris, France on the 25th of October 1811. Galois was a French mathematician and political activist. While still in his teens, he was able to determine a necessary and sufficient condition for a polynomial to be solvable by radicals, thereby solving a problem standing for 350 years. His work laid the foundation of group theory and Galois theory. He died at age 20 from wounds suffered in a duel. Non-solvable quintic. Galois realized that the algebraic solution to a polynomial equation is related to the structure of a group of permutations associated with the roots of the polynomial, the Galois group of the polynomial. An equation could be solved in radicals if a series of subgroups of its Galois group can be found, each one normal to its successor with a Belian quotient, or its Galois group is solvable. greater than or equal to 5, there exists, polynomial, x to the 5th minus x minus 1 equals 0, whose Galois group is not solvable. Hence, the roots of polynomials with degree 5 or higher in general cannot be expressed in terms of radicals. Amazing! You are so young and just of my age. How do we know if an algebraic equation can be solved by radicals? By studying the permutations of the roots in relation to the coefficients, the group of permutations is called Galois group, whose properties determine whether the polynomial is solvable by radicals or not. This is a very difficult concept like the drawing of graphs and charts rather than working in algebra. And I don't know how they are related, solved by radicals and abstract algebra. Indeed it is quite a fancy idea, and my first paper got rejected by Professor Poisson. Thank you for watching. Talent is important, but how one develops and nurtures it is even more so. See you at the home of mathematics.